What's up everyone? So I feel a little odd with my Christmas decor. I'll be changing this very soon, but today is GME Award episode numero dos. That would be where I talk about all of the other beauty things. So we're talking skincare, hair care, body care. I have so many new things I discovered that I freaking think are amazing that I think y'all would like. So we're gonna talk about them. I'll have everything listed, linked, prices, everything down below. If you are interested in anything I mention, let's dive in. That was a short intro. Thank you. Good job, Jess. So I did do a makeup version of this already. It's already up on my channel. I will link down in the description box. We have one more GME Awards where it's the best that I tried in 2020. But let's start with skincare. So one discovery I made this year that I really liked is a cleanser. Now I still love my beloved CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. That is just amazing, amazing, and I repurchased that again and again, but one that is nearly the same thing is from La Roche-Posay, and it is their Tolerian Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. I love it. They're virtually the same product, and they're right around the same price point. So for you, the decision might be whether you can get a brand easier than the other, or maybe you have a better deal, or a coupon, or a sale. I love this stuff. This is actually a new one I haven't even opened, but I just discovered it this year. I hadn't tried it before and I really, really like it. The same effect on my skin as the CeraVe one where it just hydrates, it doesn't strip my skin, but it still removes what I need it to remove. So another one I love this year that I don't have in front of me because I used it up and I still need to repurchase is Rosehip Seed Oil. I've been trying the one from The Ordinary for most of this year. I'd had another brand. The Ordinary is like under 10 bucks. It lasts a while. And when I use Rosehip Seed Oil, I use it as the last step in my routine. So even after moisturizer, I'll get a couple drops between my hands and place it on my face. I'm just a big fan of oils in general, and there are plenty that I love, but rosehip oil is one that I just feel like is really easy to get, and it really does a nice job evening out your skin tone and getting rid of redness. It can help with scarring. It's just like a wonder ingredient, and I love it. The only thing I'm curious about, though, is with rosehip oil, I feel like there's something going on with the Ordinary's bottles and it always breaks. Do you guys have that same experience with the Ordinary's oil bottles, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, maybe it was just that one I got, but I feel like that's not the first time that's happened, you know? Another one that it's actually a cult classic and I had heard about it for so long and I finally tried is from Paula's Choice. It is their 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. This is like that product you see all over Facebook and all over Instagram and all over, like it's everywhere, but for a good reason. So I will just squirt a few drops in my hand and you can press it into your face. You can use cotton pads. You can do it however you want. The active ingredient is salicylic acid and I really feel like this helps stave off any, did I use that word right? <laughs> stave off any breakouts that might be happening, especially with maskne and all of that. This has helped a lot and it just, perfects my skin. It helps with the pore size and I really, really like it. This is now the second bottle I've had this year. Another Polish Choice favorite of mine I've loved for years is their Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense. This is just so good, guys. It's my favorite SPF. I go through so many different ones I still really like and I like glowy SPFs, but this one has a slight tint to it and it doesn't make your skin greasy, but it's also not super drying. Like it's that perfect middle of the road SPF and I've never gotten like a sunburn with this or had any issues. It's just so good and it works so well under makeup. And that's the thing I've realized after trying so many different SPFs, some will just pill up as you put your makeup on and then it's like, well, I don't even know if my face is protected properly and this doesn't do that. It's so good. There's good skincare in it. It's got antioxidants, it's got resveratrol and it is just, so, so wonderful. Paula's Choice is definitely a skincare brand I trust, and there's very few from that brand that I've tried that I didn't like, you know? And so that's, I just feel like if you're just starting out, that's always, that's definitely a good place to look. So next up, speaking of skincare brands I trust, this, I've been sponsored by Maylove before. This is not sponsored. They don't know I'm mentioning it. But two of my favorites, I couldn't do this year-end favorites video without mentioning the Night Renewer. This is a glycolic acid cream I use every other night. And again, it's like helped with my pores. It's helped with my redness. It's got anti-aging. Like it literally has it all. And if you have sensitive skin, you can use it too. A lot of people with sensitive skin feel like they can't use like glycolic acids and AHAs, BHAs, all of that. But with this, you can because it's got some hydration and some calming ingredients as well. So I am a huge fan of that. And then another one from them, this is actually one I haven't opened and I today used up the last bit of the vitamin C serum. This is their Glow Maker Antioxidant Serum. I go through 
multiple bottles of this in a year. I use it every day as the first thing underneath my makeup. It helps reverse the signs of like photo aging from the sun, which even if you're inside a lot, you're still getting those sun rays. And so I, I adore this stuff and there's a reason I've used it now for years. And the price point of May Love products is very competitive, which is another reason I think it's amazing that they have such good skincare. But speaking of prices of skincare, this one is definitely more expensive, but it's still a favorite from Drunk Elephant, their Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. Just one of my favorite moisturizers. It's just easy and comfortable to apply. You know, some moisturizers take a while to kind of blend into your skin. This one doesn't. It's got amazing skincare. It's got peptides in it that's gonna help with anti-aging as well. It's expensive. I think it's worth the price point and I just, I just love it. I really am thinking about redecorating. I'm trying to think, I'm not gonna totally redecorate because I use, this is where all my makeup is stored. So I use that. But I'm trying to think of what I want on the wall there. <laughs> so I might mask up and go to like TJ Maxx or somewhere and see if I can find some cool art that doesn't reflect in the lights. So let's talk body stuff because I have so many things I discovered that I was like, oh my gosh, like why aren't more people talking about this? One of the first things that came to mind when I thought about my favorites from the year was from Coppertone. It is their SPF of 50 Glow Lotion. So it's just a sunscreen, but it has this sh like shimmery quality to it. It's kind of like a weird grayish purple color, but obviously it blends in, but it has this glowy factor to it that man, you put this on your legs and arms and like shoulders and you're like, am I a goddess? I've told so many friends about this as well. I just think it is such a genius, simple product. It's not crazy expensive and I love it. This is like the second bottle I've gone through. Obviously I'm not using it all the time right now in the winter where I live, but it's, it's fantastic y'all. And speaking of fake tan, still my favorite self tanner is from Loving Tan. It's their two hour express. I get it in the dark, even though I'm pretty fair, it just does what I want it to do. I don't use it all the time, like in the winter, but in the spring and summer, man, I use the crap out of this. I like the Loving Tan Mitt that you can get with it. I just feel like it's not streaky. It wears a long time. It looks more natural. Like it's just, it's awesome. This is like the 80th bottle I've had of this. I totally lost count. But I do prefer their Two Hour Express over like their regular one. I think their regular one is good too, but I don't know, man, the Two Hour Express gives you a little bit more tan and you can shower it off faster. And it, it just, I think it almost looks better than the regular one. I don't know. All right, let's talk deodorant. I'm counting this as body care. I freaking love the Old Spice Oasis. And one of you guys, okay, first of all, the reason I love it is the smell. It smells incredible. It, yes, it's a men's deodorant, but I'm telling you, it smells great. It's very vanilla-y, but like fresh vanilla-y, like tropical vanilla, yeah. It doesn't have the aluminum to make it an antiperspirant, so it's just gonna help with the smell. I don't mind if I sweat a little bit. This works on me. I just reapply every day. I definitely think that it's not gonna last you like days. I get, does, doesn't everyone reapply deodorant every day though? Okay, anyway. It's awesome. One of you guys had the idea that some of the like other versions of this have like this cream colored cap and that's what I wish this had. So one of you guys said, why don't you just buy it and then just put the cap you want on this and I'm like, so I might do that and then just reuse the cap, but I, it's just awesome, y'all. It's so good and it smells amazing. This is probably the first body lotion I have tried in so long that I felt so strongly about. It's from La Roche-Posay and it's their Lipicar Balm Intense Repair Moisturizing Cream. They have like a Lipicar mo moisturizing cream, but this one is the Lipicar Balm. It is the most beautiful cream. It blends in like that. I can do like four pumps of this and it covers my entire body. It is like, it takes me 30 seconds to do all of my moisturizing because I just feel like it blends in so fast. Like you're not working at blending in a white cream that takes forever. It really intensely, deeply moisturizes. I can feel it like I put it on this morning and I feel like I can still feel that my skin is moisturized, but it doesn't still feel greasy. It can make your legs look a little bit dewy, at least for a few hours as it's sinking in, which I also think is beautiful. Now, another product I wanna mention that I always pair with it is from Neutrogena. This is their body oil. It's like super oily because I just got it out of my shower. I like the fragrance-free version. I just figure I don't really need the fragrance in it. You know what I mean? It's not really serving a purpose for me but I use this through like pregnancy and postpartum for parts of it. I use it now every day just as a non-pregnant, you know, non-post, what do you, uh, anyway, ordinary time, Jesse. 
So I will towel dry in the shower and then I will grab a few squirts of this and just put it everywhere. And it helps keep the moisture in my skin. I feel like it's helping with the anti-aging of my actual skin because I do feel like there's not a ton you can do about it other than, you know, drink a lot of water, you know, stay out of the sun, wear sunscreen. But I feel like these two together are really helping my skin stay healthy and they work so well together. So if you're looking for a, a new body care regimen, I would highly recommend both of these. Dang, there's so many good things, man. So this from CeraVe is their Itch Relief Moisturizing Cream. If you are someone like me, the bottom half of my legs, every once in a while will just be randomly so itchy. It's so bizarre. And so I discovered this this year and it is the best at, like within a minute of putting this on, I'm no longer itchy. And CeraVe has amazing ceramides and stuff to really like help with the moisture of your skin. And I'm telling you, it actually works against the itching. And it's approved by the National Eczema Association as well. So it's safe on eczema prone skin. It is so good and it works. And this has lasted me so long. I mean, I am starting to get towards the bottom, but if you have that problem from time to time, buy one of these, you'll never have that problem again. It's awesome. I mean, you'll have it again, but you'll just need to use the lotion. <laughs> okay, I know I'm talking about a lot of lotions, but this one I keep in my nightstand. It's from Gold Bond. It's their overnight deep moisturizing cream and it says it's got hyaluronic acid it's got melatonin and antioxidants and a calming scent i just like it it is a nice calming scent and to use it at night i'll put it on my hands my elbows and then on my feet and i just feel like i'm doing that extra step of moisturizing those areas that tend to get dry especially in the winter but i use this year round and it's perfect to just keep in your nightstand or on your nightstand whatever and i'm really liking it this bath salt best discovery ever of in the bath department for me. This is the Knep, no, Knife, Nef. So many of you guys tried to tell me how to say it and none of you guys seem to say it the same way, which was even more confusing. So it is the mineral bath salt for the joints and muscles and it's got Arnica in it. And this stuff is so good. I paid, <laughs> I overpaid for this at a spa, okay? Then I realized it sold on Ulta for like easily a third of the price I paid. However, either way, I'm glad that they recommended it because I wouldn't have discovered it that way. So thank you. It's got a really strong scent. I don't mind it, but it's definitely a strong scent and it really, really helps to relax your muscles and joints in the bath. I This has made a huge difference to me when I use it and I, I just feel like it actually makes a difference. You know what I mean? I love bath salts and I love ones with nice scents and all that and I'll still use them, but when I really have sore muscles and joints, I feel like this stuff genuinely works and it's awesome. So we'll be repurchasing on Ulta for cheaper. <laughs> this was a later in the year discovery, but I just love it. It's from Tree Hut. It's their vitamin C shea sugar scrub. Did I say it right? Shea sugar scrub. That sounded wrong though, right? Got a nice fresh scent and this stuff has AHAs in it. And I feel like it really works well at combating my KP or like the little red bumps. I still have some redness on my arms, but it's not nearly what it used to be. And the bump are gone like it's very very smooth in that area and I really feel like this and then using the body oil are why I also use dry brushing from time to time and I think all of those work together to help but I really really think this is incredible it's an amazing body scrub it doesn't make your shower all dirty because it is a lighter kind of more translucent color and I think it actually again it actually works okay another body one is the Billy razor I switched to Billy razor like a year ago or maybe towards the beginning of the year I don't know this I just put on a brand new one I love it because I don't have to think about it this is not spot you can choose like how often you get the razor shipped and you just keep using the same thing There's a little magnetic thing. You can stick it on your shower. It is so easy Every few months I get another few razors sent to my door so that every month I can change it If you want to change your razor even more often you can choose that online like, They ship it in really simple packaging that's recyclable like it's not over the top like a bunch of wasted Packaging material or anything like that and it's all recyclable and I just think it is fantastic And I want to shout from the rooftops. I think the razors are really good. They're really sharp it's a really smooth shave. Let's talk hair. First off, I would be remiss if I didn't mention my Kitsch towel scrunchies. I am like the biggest fan of these. I just am. I feel like I talk about them every week in either a vlog or like in a regular video, but they're so good and they have different patterns and different colors and stuff. I just have this two pack of white ones I got a while ago, but literally, you know, if you're showering at night, I hate laying on my pillow and the pillow getting all wet and it's uncomfortable. So I'll use this and put my hair like in a librarian bun. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
<laughs> or like a ballet bun. And then just put this on it like twice over. It just soaks up so much of the water. And then when I wake up and I take it down, my hair has like kind of a cool wave. So sometimes I'll let it air dry from there in the morning and it's mostly dry, but there's definitely still some dampness to it. All right, so this, I'm not gonna show you up close because it's gross. This hairbrush, okay? It's from the brand Time. I'll put a picture on the screen right there. This giant, wonderful round hairbrush is the best thing that I bought for my hair this year. Maybe second only to those hair drying scrunchies because when I'm blow drying my hair and using this like while I'm blow drying it, it makes my hair smooth. Like it is wild. It's like a magic brush. It's kind of pricey for a round brush in my humble opinion, but it's amazing. And then if you buy the little, which I need to use on it, that's why I wasn't showing you my brush. There's a little tool they sell on Amazon. I'll put a picture on the screen there that it literally will help you get the hair out of the brush so that it can be clean. Because with brushes like this, it hurts your hand if you're trying to pull it out, you know? So that has worked wonders. And it, again, it's like super cheap and like the best invention ever. Why isn't everyone talking about it? I have so many detanglers that I love. I wanted to mention two. I mean, I can mention three. I love that Shea Moisture one I've loved for years. We'll definitely be repurchasing. But I've really enjoyed this Ava NYC Main Magic Primer. It smells so good. Definitely, I don't, I try not to spray my roots because I do think it makes my roots oilier faster because I just have naturally oilier hair. But when I spray it from like here down, it detangles so easily. It smells amazing. The nozzle on this is like the smoothest thing in the world. Probably my favorite dry shampoo of the year is one of the most expensive ones I tried, which is such a bummer, but it's so good. It's from Bumble and Bumble. It is their Preta Powder Tray Invisible Dry Shampoo. This is like a ginormo one. I always buy it when it's on sale, never full price. But it's so good, it works, my hair actually feels clean, and it smells really nice. Now the secondary one I love under this is from Living Proof, but I hate the smell of it. That one works really well, but it, the smell just kills me. But this one works well and smells good. I just wish it weren't so darn expensive. A couple of perfume favorites of the year. One that I, I feel like if I had never smelled it and I just read the description, I'd be like, I don't know. Do I, you know, would I really like it? It's not like any other perfume I've ever worn and loved. It's not super sweet. It's not super musky. It's not like, it's, it's kind of fresh. Like it makes me think of champagne. Every time I spray it on myself, it makes me think of champagne. That's what it is, and I know why. In Disney World, there is Mickey's Philhar Magic little 3D show, and at one point they do Be Our Guest, and they have champagne bottles popping on the screen, and they have a scent that comes out. That's what this reminds me of, in the best way. Like, it's just a lovely, bubbly, fresh, but still a little sweet scent. And it's funny, did I tell you what this is? It's Chloe Nomad. I just love it, y'all. I think the packaging is so sleek and simple and pretty, and it's just my new favorite and it totally took me by surprise. Another new one I don't think I've talked about, but it, and it's very new to me, like within the past month, but I wanted to mention it. It's from the brand Replica and it's their By the Fireplace scent. It's so weird and different and good. And this brand makes, I bought like a little set of a couple of these because quite frankly, this brand is so ridiculously expensive. I didn't wanna buy a full size. I wanted to try a few different ones. So this pack had like Jazz Club, by the fireplace and then in the library or something like that. And I think the idea is th the name is replica because they're trying to replicate very specific places and scents and memories in life. And I just think it's a cool idea, but this one is such an amazing wintry scent. It definitely smells fireplace-esque, but it's got like a nice sweetness to it. I feel like men and women could wear this and it would smell just lovely. So wanted to mention it. I can link like the specific three little pack I got if it's still being sold. Cause I feel like that's a nice little spread to try. A couple of teeth ones. I had to mention my toothpaste favorite, the Crest 3D White, specifically the stain eraser. I really think that this helps like if you get coffee and tea staining, wine staining, whatever. I drink plenty of coffee throughout the day and tea. So it's definitely a problem for me and this has helped so much. So I love that. I just repurchase it over and over again. If you're someone that you can't do regular mouthwash because it just burns and you don't like that feeling, this is the bomb. It's from Listerine. It's their nightly reset. This is, I think, the second one of these I've had and it just works. Like it cleans out your mouth and you actually feel like it's done something good for like killing germs and stuff, but 
it doesn't burn at all. And that, it's like one of the first ones I've tried that doesn't burn. So I have the Twilight Mint, which says it's less intense, and I think it is fantastic. So like I said earlier, if you wanna watch my Jammy Awards Best of the Year of Makeup, I will link that below and up in the eye if you wanna watch that right now. And definitely subscribe, stay tuned, because my next video on this channel should be the very last of my Jammy Awards Best of the Year series, which is everything else, fashion, jewelry, kitchen items, favorite coffees, teas, the works, y'all. We're gonna be talking about everything. I have already planned that video and <laughs> I cannot wait to share some of these with you guys because there are just so many amazing things I tried this year. So like I said, subscribe, stay tuned for that. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching to the end and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.